Hello lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an exciting video for you because I, my cat Pinky is here. So everyone say hello to Pinky. He's a little nervous because he's never um, done a video before, but he's being good right now. And this video is all about Audrey Hepburn and her favorite beauty products. And I also have her identical sleep set that she wore in the movie Breakfast at Tiffany. So let's jump right in and talk about Audrey Hepburn. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura, and this is a channel where I talk about all things vintage. So if you love vintage, then please don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, thank you, you can go wander around now. To start, I'm gonna talk about my sleep set. It is the same one that Holly Golightly wore in the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. It comes with a sleep shirt, as well as earplugs and an eye mask, and it's from the store online retailer Utopiat. And I'll link everything below so you can shop. And this sleep shirt is made from 100% organic cotton. It's very comfortable and lightweight. And it buttons up along the back, as you can see. And then it has like a nice round yoke in the front and the black buttons. So it's that tuxedo shirt that she wore in the movie. And moving on, she also wore these amazing little tassel earplugs in the movie. And I got these ones from the same place. It comes as a set. And they just stick right in your ears quite nicely as you can see just like in the movie and they're really pretty so I'm super excited about these and I also got the eye mask from the movie it's identical it even has the little jewels on the eyes all the details and it ties up in the back and so now I have the perfect matching sleep set so I can be just like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany's. Well, moving on to Audrey Hepburn's hair care routine, she went to the British hairdresser Philip Kingsley and in 1974 he designed a pre-shampoo treatment for her called the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer and it is kind of for pre-shampoo for all hair types. It kind of adds moisturizing, manageability, bounce, shine, and elasticity. And this one was made for her in 1974. All the products that I feature in this video are linked below. So if you want to shop about them or if you're curious, then you can just click all the links below. And moving on to some more of her favorite beauty products. She loved Erno Laszlo, just like Marilyn Monroe did and many other movie stars. So, Audrey Hepburn loved the Erno Lazo uh, Sea Mud Cleansing Bar. And she loved it because it was like, it's 97% natural. And I actually love the beautiful kind of retro case that it comes in. And I think this will last a long time because if you just use it to wash your face, I really think the bar will last a while. And I really love that it comes in this really cute kind of vintage looking case. So this is Audrey Hepburn's favorite kind of face wash and facial bar. Audrey Hepburn is known to love Estee Lauder and she even quoted that she starts and finishes her day with Estee Lauder and there's two products that she loved. The first one is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This one has been around since 1982 and it's quite iconic now. Apparently it's the number one seller of serum in the world. And this one is kind of just for smoothing and anti-aging. I've tried a little mini sample and it does feel kind of amazing. So I'm gonna continue using it and see how it goes, but I do love the vintage blue packaging and I find the bottle to be quite iconic. Another product that Audrey Hepburn loved is the Estee Lauder Renutrieve Face Cream. And this one is actually quite vintage. It came out in 1956. I'm sure the formula has changed since, but if you look on their website, there's some pictures of the old bottle and it's a really beautiful gold case, similar to this one. And this one is made with like 26 of the world's most expensive ingredients. So it definitely sounds very luxurious. I'm curious to actually try it to see if it stands up to what it says it does. So if any of you guys have ever tried this, let me know. I think it was around $130 Canadian. I'm sure it's cheaper in the States, but I'm excited to try it and hopefully it lives up to its reputation. And if Audrey Hepburn loved it, then I'm sure it's good enough for me. I was also researching the lip color that Audrey Hepburn wore in Breakfast at Tiffany's. A bunch of times this Revlon shade came up. I don't believe it's the actual shade she wore in the movie. I think it was made after. I might be wrong. I'm not sure because I was getting mixed messages on different forums online. Some people are saying that it is. Other people are saying that it's not and that she wore more of a peachy color. 
I quite like this color because it's a beautiful pink color. It's very subtle. I'm wearing it right now and it's kind of like a neutral but a nice pop of pink. It kind of looks like something she'd wear in the movies. So maybe it is, maybe it's just inspired by Breakfast at Tiffany's. But it is the Revlon Pink in the Afternoon, color number 415. And this one was only six or seven dollars. Um, I love Revlon lipsticks because they have so many vintage shades and I believe this one is quite vintage But again, if you know more about her favorite lip color that she wore in the movie breakfast at Tiffany's I would love to know so please comment below. So I created a little mini lookbook with pinky so you can see my Holly go lightly sleep set in action and kind of see how it fits and how I wore the eye mask So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know what you think of Pinky. All right, I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.